is Kevin with Chris Ollie, and we're here. We're going to um, clean the water bath of this countertop Chris Ollie, um chiller. This, this system doesn't have a carbonator. It's just a um, countertop. It's our CR1 SW. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lid. And then what I will do is I'm going to add just as starters. I like to just add one cap full of just your household bleach into the water bath. And then the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the refrigeration off, which it'll shut the refrigeration off so we can start melting the ice bank, but it'll keep the agitator running and kind of circulating that um, chlorinated water around keeping things clean. So I'm just going to hit this button right here, hold down for a few seconds, and then the refrigeration will go off. All right, so now I'm going to drain the water bath. I, I put the, a, cup, um, a cap full of bleach in the bath, let it circulate for about 15 minutes to help um, clean up the existing bath. Um, the, the drain line is coiled up underneath. This is really the condensate or the drain line for when we're going to drain the water bath. Uncoil that, I'm going to put it into the sink here. If the sink's not close by, you can put it into a five gallon bucket and drain it into that. Then what I'm going to do is here in the top of the um, water bath, bring it up here, Gibby. There's this white pipe stem. This is connected to the drain line. So by pulling this out, I'm taking just a pair of needle nose pliers, pulling it straight up, that will then allow water to flow out the drain line. So as soon as I pull that white pipe stand, I want to shut the power off the main power at the rocker switch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some warm water across this ice bank that's built up in here so we can melt it down and then we can completely clean, um, clean the entire water bath. One thing you're going to notice here, um, I'll point it out before I start dumping water. This is a, a secondary um, pipe um, drain. You do not want to um, fill the water bath level above this because it will go inside of the cabinet of the unit. Um, it's not connected to a drain. It's just more of an er emergency overflow. Um, so we just want to keep the water level below that. Okay, now that the water bath is um, drained, the ice bank is melted, I'm gonna take a soft brush. I got this at uh, an automotive um, store, and then I'm gonna use it to gently go in and out and kind of just clean up some of this, this green oxidation. Um, you may not get all of it out, but it's really not, not a health concern, but um, we're just gonna go in and clean it up the best we can, and then we will reinsert this pipe stem, fill the water bath, and turn the unit back on. So we cleaned the water bath, um, scrubbed it down with a soft brush the best we could. One thing um, when melting the ice bank, I didn't mention that earlier, but when you're melting the ice bank, make sure you're not using any tools or screwdrivers that are gonna, um, that could potentially penetrate the uh, evaporator coil. So you don't wanna use any sharp objects. That's why I use the soft brush. Um, now that the water bath is full, you fill it to about a quarter inch below the white pipe stem. This is your, this is your, um, your main drain. I'm gonna add, I've got this um, Manitowoc ice machine sanitizer. I'm going to add just a couple capfuls of this in the water bath. Um, it'll help keep it sanitary for a while, but it will dissipate over time. Now that I'm done there, I'm going to turn the power on to the machine. And then the other thing I need to do is I'm going to turn the refrigeration back on, and that's this on off button. So you're going to have to hold it for like 10 seconds until it says on, and then you can relieve it. This is preset. There's no way you can make any adjustments to it, so you don't need to do anything there. After that, put the lid back on, and I'm also going to clean this air filter. So the air filter is in the back here, pulling this air filter out. You can take this to a hand sink or to the back, rinse it out, dry it off, and then slide it back in. It's in the back of the unit. This is probably one of the most important things you need to be doing on a regular basis. I check this weekly.